Welcome to this video from roadtext.com discussing how to create a black book profile. The things we're going to talk about in this video are what is a black book, how long does it take to set it up, what you're going to need to set up your black book profile, and a quick video tutorial showing how a black book profile is created. So what is black book? It's a set of tools that will help you find your next job. Uh, within black book there are a number of tabs and I'll discuss a few of those here. Now I'm not going to discuss most of them in detail. We're really here just to talk about how to set up your profile, but I'll give you an idea of the other items that are available within Blackbook. So first off is the profile, and that's basically your resume. It's all your employment history, education, uh, desired job position, things like that. Also there's a tab for hot sheets. Hot sheets are our email that come out once a day uh, for various skill sets, say welder or electrician and uh, we have a tab within Blackbook that allows you to manage your hot sheet subscriptions. There's another tab called job search and that allows you to quickly run job searches and when you have a job search you like you can save that for future use. Uh, there's, a, there's an announce tab and announce is a process that will let recruiters know immediately when you announce your availability for your next job. There's also a tab called Job Notify and with Job Notify you can get immediate notification via email or SMS text of jobs as soon as they get posted on Road Text, assuming they meet the skill sets that you're looking for. How long does it take to set up Blackbook? Probably 10 or 15 minutes. Uh, if you're good on computers, it'll take less time. Um, now, that's just to get the bare minimum in place. Uh, obviously, if you want to add additional detail, then you'll have to spend more time in your profile editing. A few things you're going to need to get started to set up your profile. You're going to have to create a username of at least eight characters and we recommend you use upper and lower case characters, numbers to help disguise it. Uh, a password, eh, same rules apply, at least eight characters. You'll need a valid email address because we're going to send you an email to verify that it's really you that's setting up this Blackbook profile. You'll need your first and last name, desired job position, uh, the industries you typically work in, and your current employment status. And all of those things can be modified later, but these will just get you going. If you have any questions while you're creating your profile, you can always contact us using the email link at www.roadtext.com. Just go to that page and look up in the upper right hand corner and you'll see an email link. To start setting up your Blackbook profile, you'll need to open your web browser and enter the address www.roadtechs.com. From the roadtechs.com main page, look in the main menu on the left hand side and scroll down to Blackbook, hover over Job Seeker and then select the new user option. Now you're on the new user page where you can start to create your Blackbook profile. So on this page you can enter in your username and I'll just create something here to give you an idea. Enter your password twice
you'll need to enter your email address. And again, that needs to be verified. Enter your first name. And you can, there is a spot in your profile later on to enter a nickname if you want to use your more formal first name, your given name. Uh, and then your last name. In step eight, you're going to enter your desired job position. In this case, I'll just put welder. And the industry you normally work in. I'll enter nuclear power. In the last box, you need to enter your employment status. Your three options are available. In other words, you could go to work today. You're working, but you're entertaining offers. Uh, maybe your existing job is coming to an end. In that case, you'd, you'd put working. Uh, if you're not available to work right now, then select unavailable, and uh, the recruiters won't be able to see your profile when they're searching for your skill set. And then when you've got the form filled out, you can click on the submit button. After you click on the submit button, you'll see a new screen that tells you congrats, you have successfully logged into the black book area. So you have a profile now, you have a login, and you're in there and you can see the new tabs across the top welcome premium status profile hot sheets job search announce job notify and a tab to log out from here if you'd like to see what information was entered into your profile you can click on the profile tab and review that uh, when you're in your profile there's another button to enable editing and you can go ahead and and fill out additional detail in your profile. But this gets you started, it gets you into a black book profile and you can start to use the functionality that's contained in it. We're looking at the black book profile page and on this page you can see all the information we entered, the contact email, the desired position and in industry, the professional summary will be automatically filled in for you. You'll need to go back in there and edit that and add additional detail. But there is enough information in here right now for recruiters to call up your profile and at least look at your desired position in industry. That assumes that your availability is set to available or working and considering offers. If it's marked unavailable, then as it says here, it's excluded from recruiter searches. Obviously, this profile would need to be fleshed out a bit more, and you would do that using the Profile Edit button. And that completes the viewing of the profile page. So in summary, what we've talked about in this video is what is BlackBook? Well, it's a set of tools that will help you find your next job. How long did it take to set up? Probably 10 or 15 minutes. What you're going to need, we talked about needing names, passwords, usernames, valid email address, uh, your desired job position, your industries, your employment status, things of that nature. Obviously, if you want to expand on your profile, you'll need those additional details as well. But we're not going to speak to that today or we didn't speak to that in this video. And we saw a video showing step-by-step -step creation in the web browser for creating a profile. Thank you for watching the video and good luck setting up your profile.